the Schrodinger's cat of collectibles. <laughs> Welcome back. Iro's here. Today we're going to go into the squirrel's den because we're going to be talking about collecting. We're going to go through the hall of all the Funko that I have bought through their virtual conventions this year. And it does take us back to maybe, I think February or March was the first one. And if you remember me discussing in the um, prior video about how to use the Funko app and the benefit of the app, I said that there's so many Funko licenses out there that you really, you have to limit what you're going to buy. And they came out with a flying Wonder Woman, which Wonder Woman is one of the things that I told myself I can buy more of the various uh, Wonder Woman pops that they put out. And at that time, they had they had come out with a license that really kind of excited me. And I went back and started re-watching. Um, and many of you might remember the big heyday of the miniseries. So when we open that, we'll see if you can guess what it was. But uh, when I saw these, I had to have them. And then they also have been putting out um, uh, musical artist pops. So uh, maybe <laughs> you can guess what one I bought there. So let's go through that first virtual convention. And first we shall do the Wonder Woman and she is flying. So I thought that was cool and different and I needed that for my Wonder Woman set. Now we'll go into um, the band. And I, again, I, this wasn't on my list, but they didn't exist at the time I made the list and I made an exception for Simon Le Bon. Yes, um, I, I admittedly, I love Duran Duran. I love 80s pop. Uh, as much as I do love classic rock, I love 80s pop and I love Duran Duran. So I, I had to I had to get Simon. Hence the t-shirt. And the pops that really that even convinced me to get the Flying Wonder Woman are V. Now the Mike Donovan pop is a little is a little generic. I don't really think think they captured um, Mark Singer, but it's kind of cool. But the real, I mean, look at Diana. This is awesome. She's even holding the guinea pig with the dark glasses. And I just, this pop is awesome. I had to have these V pops. Now there's only three of them. And the third one again was the D the demasking of the visitors and it's just again I saw I saw these and I said oh they weren't on my list but I had I had to have them and I had to have them is then after getting the pops I did then rewatch the V the original miniseries V the final battle and I am currently rewatching the original TV show um so if you ever, if you remember V, it, the script, the, some of the acting, the, the plot has held up pretty well. Some of the special effects, like when they're in the sky, they're, but it has, uh, the plot has held up surprisingly well. I, when they remade it a couple years ago, they probably could have just remade exactly with better special effects and it might have been just as good. Um, however, then people like me probably would have complained that why not just leave the original alone? But yes, I had, to, I had to have the V pops because I loved V and V the final battle. I even do have the novels, um, back in high school when we had these vocab books, you could earn extra credit by reading outside of the classroom. And if you found vocab words, in the book you were reading, you could cite it and the page, the book, and you could get extra credit. 
and those V books got me so much extra credit. It was ridiculous, but I loved those books. Next is more Wonder Woman. And these are more um, the classic Wonder Woman. Um, here is basically, you know, the Golden Age Wonder Woman. And it's just, she's perfect. I mean, this, Wonder Woman. This is, when you think Wonder Woman, this is what you think of the classic, again, Golden Age Wonder Woman. The other one I had to get was more um, a, a brief stint she did in the, the 70s where she didn't dress in her iconic costume. But I just thought this was really cool and would go great with the rest of my Wonder Woman collection. And lastly, I have Soda Pops. And these actually were convention exclusives. These say the Wondrous Convention Limited Edition. And it's the Black Widow Soda Pop. Now, I did buy two of these. Um, I don't know if I'm going to open both of them, but let, let's let open the one and see if we got the chase. If we get the chase, we'll open the other one. Otherwise, the other one may retain some value because it's unopened. Therefore, it's like the Schrodinger's cat of collectibles. It's both the chase and not the chase until... You open it and find out. So let me see if I remember how to open. Ah, that's right. It comes there. I had trouble opening that Wonder Woman one too. Okay, so let's see. Oh, that's right. Oh, she's in a bag. We're not going to look at the pog. Tension and excitement. And it is not the chase. It had, is her standard black outfit. The chase is going to be her, oops, her in the white outfit. So, again, Black Widow, one out of 12,500. I need to now make the decision, should I open the other one or leave the other one untouched? And therefore, again, she can both, she is both the regular and the chase. So I hope you enjoyed going through my virtual Funko Pop convention haul. And until next time. Okay, so as I was editing the video to find graphics to insert, I realized that there was a fourth V Pop that I needed to get. And it arrived. So let's take a look because this one is pretty cool. And this goes along with the Unmasked Visitor Pop, but this one is Diana Unmasked. So obviously I had to have this one to complete my V set. So once again, thanks for joining me.